Hey YouTube, I'm back and I am actually doing a crochet video. I know that I said I wasn't going to do any more crochets, but <clears throat> I had made this announcement that I was going to do something with my hair, something different and crazy. And what that was is I was going to shave my head bald. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but I'm having problems with breakage and thinning. Um, like in this area it's very very thin so I was going to just shave it off and start all over but my gigantic head would not allow me to wear a wig that looked correct so um, I decided not to shave my head and I experimented with a lot of things and none of them worked so I'm back to crochet braids now, with that said, I'd like to make a comment on my last crochet video, which was the Singalese twist. Um, I think I may have mentioned before that I didn't care for those braids because they were too large. So if you're taking this gigantic pre-twisted hair and you're sticking it under your braids, something's got to give to get that braid in through your hair. And what happened was a lot of my hair broke off. And oddly enough... I, what was that? I think it was like July when I did that. And I have been holding on to this hair since July because I just wanted it to show how much hair I lost through those crochet braids. And that is how much I lost. And some of it uh, has a shampoo in it. That's what the white stuff is. But I lost all this hair. In the process when I took those singalese twist out because those gigantic twists really broke my hair to get in through there so um, I do not recommend those because they were too large if you watch the video you saw that I did some fill-ins with smaller twists those were fine but the other ones were too large and I lost a lot of hair because of that so uh, what I'm gonna do today is just another connect-along video so, I have this Biba hair, which is 100% Connectalon. I'm using a color 2. Yep. Um, usually, what I'm going to do this time is I'm using the full length because um, this is my last quarter of school. After this, I will be graduating and be an RN. And we have a lot more clinical days this quarter, and that means I have to wear my hair in a ponytail. And when I do a shorter style, when I try and do it in a ponytail, it won't all go back, and it just looks, it doesn't look that good. So I'm going to use this at full length, and I'm going to have my hair up in a twisted bun like a lot of people do with just the Connectalon on their own hair. So that's what I'm going for. Um, usually when I use full the packs at their full length, I need six packs, which I thought I bought. I did not. I only bought five. So I have a generic pack of Connectalon that I'm going to use for that six pack. Um, here it is. Oh, crap. What color is this? Shoot, it's 1B. Uh, Alright, I'm going to have to put this in the back of my head, so... I'm going to use this to, damn it, one B. All right, so I'm going to get started. Um, I'll probably do a few and then come in and show real quick how I do the knots for first time viewers. And then we'll go from there. All right. Hello, I'm back. I've uh, got some of the back done and some of this side done, I think. Three braids, four braids. So, right now I'm going to show how I install it for people who've never seen me install it. So, take the hook, go in under the braid, and you've got the hair in your hand. I'll show you how I hold my hair. So I take the long piece, put it in half, make sure the bottom is relatively lined up. So I have it around that finger, and I open it with my thumb, and I grab it with the other fingers. So I have that part on the top to stick through. So I got the hook through my hair. Oops, I think I have it through two braids. Yep. Hold on. 
If that happens to you, just close the hook and pull it out. Okay, so, again, uh, you can start it however close you want to to your edges. I would probably start mine right here where it actually is braided. But right now, this piece of hair is a little bit bigger than I would want at the very edge. So I'm going to start a little further. So, go underneath the braid and go until the little hook part is exposed. Put the hair on the hook, close the hook, pull it through, and then I grab it with the other hand to open up the loop. Take my hand, open the loop once, pull through twice, pull through, and then I just go ahead and hook the knot. Then I take it. And I take a little piece from one side and a little piece from the other side. Move the rest of it out the way. And I'm going to tie this into a knot. So it's just like kind of like you're tying your shoe. Tie it. And then one more time to make the knot. There you go. And this connect along here is a nice, uh, it's not nappy, but it's a nice enough texture that that will hold. So I'm going to show you again. Got an even bigger piece of hair this time. So I'm going to go further back, line up the hair, finger in, thumb through, other fingers, close around. Got that part right there. Okay. So what I do is I pinch the braid from where the other one was, and then I put the hook on the outside of my fingers to allow for approximately an inch spacing. Go on there, hook the hair, close the hook, pull it through. Grab it open with that finger. Hold it open. One, two, on that knot, grab a piece on this side, and a piece on this side, and make our knot. So we tie it once, and then tie it again. All right. And that's it. I like to use that knotting technique when I'm using straight hair because I'll be doing a lot of combing and brushing, mostly brushing, and I want to make sure that none of this hair falls out when I brush it. So um, what I'm noticing now, this is going to be really thick, but um, after I get done installing it, I will go through and probably flat iron it just to get a little bit I don't know, I kind of love the texture right now. I'll see how it looks afterwards, but more than likely, I will flat iron it just to thin it out a little bit. Have it a little bit straighter texture. Although I adore this texture because the texture of this hair is like African American, actually black American hair. Okay. So I'll be back when I'm finished to show where I'm going to go from there. Be right back. Hello, so I'm back. It is the next day and I have finished my hair. And roughly I got the style that I wanted to. It's a little puffy in the back, but that's because I did. I chose not to flat iron the hair. At least the bulk of the hair I did flat iron the bangs a little bit just to smooth them down and give them some shape so they would go into that bang that I wanted. Um, <clears throat> I hinted at an invisible part with a knot free look but it's kind of um, you can see knots here for the most part but um, <clears throat> excuse me the knot the part is not wanting to show which actually works for me because I'd rather have too little than too much part. So um, what I'm going to do, first I'm going to show you the back. Um, I did this style last night and slept on it so it kind of came a little bit unraveled. Um, which I will fix tonight. But I want to show you 
what I have. I hope you can see it through the lighting. So, um, there are lots of people who do these buns with their own hair and the, add the Kinecolon to make this type of bun. <clears throat> well, one side and the other side. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, sheesh. But, um, like I said, since I'm, I have to wear uh, my hair up a lot because it's too long for school, I wanted to do something that I actually liked. And I think this is a nice professional style to wear while I am visiting different hospitals. So what I'm going to do now is take this apart just so you can see the hair and how much there is. And I had to put quite a few pins in here in order to get this bun to stay. There's my boy. You know, he cannot see me do a video and not be in it. Oh, by the way, um, this hair <laughs> you have to be very careful with because last night when I was flat ironing the bangs, which I really should do the bangs all over again, but when you look at it, you cannot tell, and to me, that's fine, but I burnt the crap out of this hair. I mean, you really have to pay attention to what your heat settings are when you're using Connect Lawn hair, because it burnt so easily, and I had it on an acceptable temperature for most Connect Lawn hair, but I guess it was too hot for this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have to forgive me. I don't know what's in my throat. Okay, so you can see already it is a big ponytail. See how thick that is. <laughs> Now, if I were to flat iron it, it would not be that big. I just don't want to. Because I put a lot of hours into this. It took me from 1 o'clock in the afternoon until it was like 12.30 at night when I finished. 12.30 in the morning when I finished this hair. But um, I was going very, very slow. Okay, so that's that. And the bangs, I actually pinned so they would stay exactly how I wanted them. So I'll show you now where I burnt the hair. Okay, so here's the bangs. Let's see. The ends, a lot of the ends are burnt, charred to a crisp. And somewhere in here is some really short hair because I burned it off. And of course, because I'm making the video, I can't find it. But believe me, it's in there. <clears throat> it's a few rows of hair that are just burnt off. Where are you? So anyway, what I did was take the hot curler after I let it cool down and, uh, excuse me, flat iron. <clears throat> And I went through and just kind of bumped it a little so it would fall into place the way I wanted it to. So I know I'm going to regret taking this ponytail out because it was so hard to get it in. So I ended up using almost five full packs of hair. Um, I only have a very small amount left of the fifth pack. And um, if I ever feel, I will go through and um, redo the bangs. <laughs> so here's all of my hair. <laughs> yeah. And there's a little bit here, right around the part that I wouldn't mind filling in either. I might do that. 
So that's it. That's all the hair. And as you can see, in order to get that style, all I did was pull all the hair back into a ponytail and then took two sections and twisted it and put an elastic at the end. And then you just take it and roll it around itself and you start spinning or you start pinning as you spin it around. And that's it. That's how you achieve it. And then the bangs. Uh, I, like I said, I flat iron and then I put them in the shape that I want and then just pinned it up here. I probably could get away without pinning it, but I moved my head a lot. So I just went ahead and pinned it to make sure that it does stay where I want it to. So that's all for this crochet video. Um, I started out with 19 braids all going straight back. So I am going to leave all the information about this hair. All the information about this hair will be in the comment box. If you have any questions that I did not answer through this video or the comment box, well not comment but the show me more, show more part, please leave your questions and I will answer them as soon as I can if I did not answer them already. I just want to take a moment to thank everyone who has subscribed and continues to watch my videos. I appreciate it more than you'll know. And as such, I may be giving some hair away because I have way too much hair and I'm never going to use it all more than likely because I keep buying it. This I just bought even though I already had Connectalon hair. Some people are just addicted. I am addicted to buying hair. So stay tuned for that but thank you all for watching thank you for subscribing if you have and have a great day hi I just had to come on for one second because I watched the video and I was quite shocked at how my hair looked so I actually went through just now and took a blow dryer and blew it all out to uh, smooth it down some. As you can see, it's a lot smoother. And it thinned it out also by doing that. So I'm going to redo the ponytail. It's long. And I believe it will look a lot better the next round over. So just wanted to come in because I hate that I went to school like that with my ponytail holder showing and everything. So it was just bad. All right, because there are ways that you can tame that hair down. And as you see, blow drying really tamed it down a lot. All right, now I'm gone. Bye.